top five reasons why children should be checked by chiropractors. Number one, being born. The modern birthing environment is sadly all about intervention in one of the most natural of human processes. Having said that, when such interventions are truly warranted in those life-saving moments, they are absolutely remarkable. However, many births are now controlled through chemicals, the drugs involved in things such as inductions and epidurals, through people, obstetricians, as opposed to being controlled by the mother, and through time pressures. Sadly, modern hospitals and many birth centers are simply not staffed adequately to allow women the appropriate time to labor according to the needs of the child. All of these stresses are subsequently applied to the fragile structure and function of a newborn child, with many neuromusculoskeletal problems being undetected and or overlooked by the medical fraternity. Two, neurodevelopment, AKA developmental milestones. During the first few years, there are many vitally important neurodevelopmental windows of activity and growth. Developmental, window, developmental milestones such as sitting, rolling, crawling, and even walking are the regular source of pride for many parents. However, there are many other milestones which are of equal, if not greater importance to the neurodevelopment of the child. Abilities such as horizontal eye tracking, catching, and standing on one leg are all required to occur at appropriate timeframes in order for children to grow and develop as easily as possible. Now, there are many health professionals capable of measuring and tracking such developmental milestones. However, very few, if any, have the capacity to affect the neurodevelopment and neurophysiology of an individual like a chiropractor. Three, falls. As any parent will attest to, children fall. Lots. In fact, on average, a child will fall approximately two and a half thousand times before the age of seven. Before the age of three, a child is regularly will suffer from three major falls off change tables and or beds, etc. And if that's not terrifying enough to make you want to wrap them in bubble wrap, nearly 50% of children will suffer a major fall and land on their head in the first 12 months of life. Now, do you think there's any chance through all of this involuntary testing of gravity that a spine and nerve system may be placed under excessive stress? Four, as the twig grows bent, so will the tree. Posture, scoliosis, torticollis, inappropriate premature head control. Any abnormal posture will have negative impacts on the developing nerve system, especially the brain of a child. Whether the posture is a result of falls, car seats, nursing positions, nappy changing, or any other of a myriad of possible reasons for abnormal postures to begin, addressing and correcting the issue should be of the utmost importance for any child. As per many health issues, Abnormal posture and its consequences may not be associated with any other symptom, complaint, pain, or behavioral change. This does not, however, reduce the importance of having that posture assessed and addressed if necessary. Five, immune system development and strength. A child does not have an independent immune system until they are close to 12 months of age. In fact, the first three months of their immune system is, comes from in utero and the birth process. And it's one of the greatest benefits of a vaginal birth is the transference of many immune system elements. The next six to nine months are heavily influenced by a child's diet. Breastfeeding has been shown to have massive benefits over formula feeding in the development of immune systems. There is no drug or surgery which can improve your health. When appropriate, drugs and or surgery may save your life, but they will never make you healthier. One of the most exciting understandings about the human body to become more mainstream knowledge in recent time is the influence the spine and nerve system has over the immune system development and function. Whether this is demonstrated in reduced susceptibility to infection, 
therefore reduced reliance and or use of inappropriately prescribed medications such as antibiotics, or faster recovery times, therefore less time off school, etc. A strong, non-compromised immune system is dependent upon a clear working nerve system and spinal function. So, who has a child that you know that would greatly benefit from being checked by a Gonstead chiropractor?